absolutely right. It could be could be that I said that. I'm going to have to be very careful to uh, to not use anything that could be a potential infringement. I don't think there's anything in the background that no nothing in the background that should have come up with it. Good to see people didn't go too far. They're still logging on. And um, by all means, if you've watched the video um, that we've done, then by all me. <laughs> It's a black mug, Eloise, completely plain black, just so that nobody can um, accuse me of anything with that either. Uh, yeah, if you've watched the video that Mrs. Thompson's put together, please do put um, a comment. I know we've all really found it strange that we're kind of teaching you, but we can't actually see you. So hopefully you've kind of quite enjoyed seeing all of us at the same time. Um, so any feedback on that would be really appreciated. I know it's taken... Mrs. Thompson, a lot of coordination to try and get us all to do what she wanted us to do. Okay, Louise, I will make sure I shove it out of the way and I use the glass instead for the rest of this. But you are probably right. Uh, just give it a second to see if we get more people coming back to join us. Right, okay, uh, not as many people, but hopefully some people will join in. Um, I will find somewhere that we can put the questions on the um, school website. So if you haven't got, if so, if people have missed them out, we can go through them then. Um, so let's have a go. So answers to round one. What color is the Duracell bunny? The Duracell bunny is pink. What animal is Danger Mouse's sidekick? Um, Penfold is apparently a hamster. Um, doesn't necessarily look much like a hamster unless you've shaved it, but Penfold is a hamster. Peppa Pig's teacher is a gazelle. Madame Gazelle is Peppa Pig's teacher. What animal attacked King Julian the lemurs and then wanted to eat Marty? It was the Fusa. Dog-like animals that only live in Madagascar. And what animal tried to eat the lighthouse keeper's lunch? That was a seagull. Um, adverts. So, which bank employee sang in the Halifax adverts? Difficult question, I know. His name was Howard. Hi there, Evie. Hope you're being kind to your sister. 
Um, if I asked, how do you eat yours? I would be talking about a Cadbury's cream egg. In the very old advert for Yellow Pages, who wrote Fly Fishing, famously J.R. Hartley. In what supermarket might you see a sign saying every little helps? That was Tesco. Um, and I think this time I don't want to be the only person singing. I'm sure that there's enough, there are enough of you at home who uh, can at least shout out the product. So let's have me and everybody else sort of my age-ish at home joining in as well, OK? So. One, two, three. Way down deep in the middle of the Congo, a hippo took an apricot, a guava and a mango. He stuck it with the others and he danced a dainty tango. The rhino said, I know, we'll call it umbongo, umbongo, umbongo. They drink it in the Congo. The python picked the passion fruit, the marmoset, set the mandarin, the parrot painted packets that the hoka boodle landed in. So when it comes to sun and fun and goodness in the jungle, they all prefer the sunny, funny one they call. And the answer is umbongo. Um, I don't even know if you can buy that yet. So if you can buy that, try and get some. Um, 30 plus years since I drank it, so I don't know if it's any nice anymore, but certainly one of the most memorable adverts. Um, on to athletics. There are 10 events in a decathlon. The lightning bolt is the nickname for Usain Bolt. Which field event originated from spear throwing? That is the javelin. What are the three parts of the triple jump called? It is the hop, skip and jump. What is the full name of the British athlete known as KJT? That is Katarina Johnson Thompson. So animals, the answers were pink, hamster, gazelle, fusa, seagull. Adverts, Howard, Cadbury's Cream Egg, J.R. Hartley, Tesco and Umbongo. Athletics, 10, Usain Bolt, Javelin, Hop, Skip and Jump and Katarina Johnson Thompson. Um, looking at the comments, and I think you're probably right, I think that the, um, the an it was probably the anagrams that tripped the um, copyright infringements. So fingers crossed um, that won't work. Actually, no, what I'll do, I'll keep the anagram answers until the very, very, very end of the quiz, because then if giving out the answers cuts us off, we can at least miss out that bit. Um, so. We've done four rounds, we've marked three of them. So we're going to go on to the fifth round, which is all about authors. So I'm going to give you five books. All you need to do for each one is tell me who the author is. So first book is The Tiger Who Came to Tea. So who wrote The Tiger Who Came to Tea? Second book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So who wrote The Very Hungry Caterpillar? Third one, The Famous Five Stories. So who wrote The Famous Five Stories? Number four, George's Marvelous Medicine. Uh, 
and number five, the world's worst teachers. So authors round, who wrote one, the tiger who came for tea, two, the very hungry caterpillar, three, the famous five stories, four, George's marvelous medicine, and five, the world's worst teachers. Okay, um, final round. Final round is just called Awesome A's. So the answer to every question in this round will begin with the letter A. So, first question, which band invited us to walk this way alongside Run DMC? So which band invited us to walk this way alongside Run DMC? Mrs Underhill, it's only a piece of cake if you know it. Question two, what is Liverpool FC's home ground called. So what is Liverpool FC's home ground called? Question three, in the nativity story, what is Gabriel? So in the nativity story, what is Gabriel? Would like the full answer there, please. Question four, Natasha Hamilton and Liz McLaren were members of which girl group? So Natasha Hamilton and Liz McLaren were members of which girl group? There were other members, but apparently those two were in it all the time. And final question, what animal would would start on again? What animal would appear first in the dictionary? So what animal would appear first in the dictionary? And for a bonus point, what animal would appear second in the dictionary? So, final round. Which band invited us to walk this way with Run DMC? What is Liverpool's home ground called? In the nativity story, sorry, in the nativity story, what is Gabriel? Natasha Hamilton and Liz McLaren were members of which girl group? And what animal would appear first in the dictionary? Just give you a minute to think about those. Ask for any questions that you want repeated. Um, it is about a 20 second delay between you posting and me seeing and then me speaking and you hearing. So apologies if I don't get them as soon as they come through. Okay, um, so we're going to go with the 
authors round to mark apologies for us jumping about a bit this week so authors the author of the tiger who came to tea is judith kerr so judith kerr the very hungry caterpillar was written by eric carl i hope there is nobody at all who has been in year two at earl's cone who does not know that one Famous five stories were Enid Blyton. George's Marvelous Medicine were by, well, uh, goodness me, it's gone on too long. I can't speak anymore. George's Marvelous Medicine was written by Roald Dahl. The World's Worst Teachers was David Williams. <sighs> awesome A's. So which band invited us to walk this way alongside Run DMC? That was Aerosmith. Liverpool's home ground is, of course, Anfield. The nativity story, it is the Archangel Gabriel. The first animal that Oh, sorry. Um, Natasha Hamilton and Liz McLaren were members of Atomic Kitten. And the first animal in the dictionary would be an aardvark. Quickly followed by an aardwolf. Not quite sure what an aardwolf is, but apparently it's the second one in the dictionary. So Aerosmith, Anfield, Archangel, Atomic Kitten, and Aardvark. Right. Um, we will do the anagrams in a second, but I'm very aware we might cut out. So um, I'm pretty sure Mrs. Felton is still on and still going on. Um, Apologies for that, um, Mrs. Webb there. I'm assuming that's you that's commenting on that bottom bit. Um, so what I was going to say is I think Mrs. Felton's still on here. I've seen her comment a little while ago. So um, best wishes, Mrs. Felton. I know we will see you back in school in one shape or form very, very soon. Um, you're not going to get away from us that easily. Yep, she's there. So happy retirement, Jeanette. Um, I'll go through the anagrams questions and then if you can let me know your scores. Next week, I'm going to be getting in touch. We've had a few children who suggested possible rounds um, in the quiz. So I'm going to give them a call and ask them to write some of the questions because there are certain topics that have been suggested that I know nothing about. So I'm going to go to a couple of the children who are the experts to try and get them involved with writing some of the questions. So, anagrams. First one, a high risk offbeat better was the Great British Bake Off. I echo vet is the voice. He spins most is The Simpsons. Line spots, that is pointless. And I think the one that was causing problems, the fifth one, that is match of the day. So The Great British Bake Off, The Voice, The Simpsons, pointless and match of the day. Um, so you should have a score out of 30. Any answers you want repeating, please um, just pop up in the comments and I'll say them again. Um, let me know your scores. I know some of you found the first half quite tricky today, but then found the second half pretty straightforward. But again, like we said, it is only if you know the answers that it's easy. A couple of 20, 23s out of 30. 27, well done, Vicky. 
Nicola. Nicola, is that just you or jo uh, um, George and Katie there as well? Never quite sure who I'm talking to. I'm assuming that they're both there with you. All of you. Hi, George. Hi, Katie. Twenty-five. I think it was the twenty. There, Vicky. Well done. Okay. Now I want another comment of anybody's name who joined in with the Umbongo song. So, if you joined in with the Umbongo song, could you make sure you put your name, not the name of your child, because I don't think it was in the comment section as well for me. <laughs> I spoke to Mrs Atkinson in the hall during the break and, and we kind of almost had the idea that one week we could have a, um, a round of rap where I have to kind of rap certain songs and you have to work out what it is. Um, if there's enough demand for that, or if your children have been naughty and you think they need to be punished, I'm more than happy to do that at some point. Well, if it is still around, then I'm assuming they are going to have the uh, a bit of a rush on it in the co-op. I haven't had a trio for years. I like, hi, Lauren, hope you're well. Right, okay. Um, as always, I'm going to just let the um, comments roll through just for a little bit. Um, Mrs. Warwick at school, who I know a lot of you know, posted something on Facebook last night that I thought was really, really good. So I was going to end with that this week. Because um, obviously ev everything we're doing now is completely different and it's certainly not normal. And I think when things aren't normal, we need to be realistic about what we're thinking. So um, the quote that she posted was, we can't have the same expectations of ourselves as we would do in a normal week, because these are not normal weeks. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with others. Be happy and be safe. Um, next week, I know it's completely strange at the moment, but next Friday is actually a bank holiday. Um, so I think we will be um, celebrating the start of the bank holiday weekend, if you like, a day earlier. So I think we'll probably do it Thursday afternoon next week. Like I said, I'm going to be asking a couple of children to write at least one of the rounds. Um, if there is enough demand for um, a round of me rapping, which is kind of dubious, um, but happy to give it a go if that's what people want. So keep your scores coming in, keep your, I kind of think, confessions of those who are joining in. And I will turn it off in a minute or so. I just want to see the rest of the comments and I will see you all next week. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.